Hello everyone, my name is Lawrence Haddad. I'm the chair of Action Track One on ensuring access to safe and nutritious food for all. And my sincere apologies for not being able to be with you today to talk about this vital topic, transforming food systems with aquatic foods. Thank you so much for allowing me to speak to you via video. I've got five minutes and three points to make. First, managing aquatic foods properly embodies the true spirit of the UN Food System Summit. It's a multi-win outcome. Uh, aquatic foods are a vital source of nutrition, um, micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, omega fatty acids, really key. They, are, they, have, uh, they have lower environmental impacts than many uh, terrestrial food systems. They employ many of the world's most vulnerable in a very vulnerable and unpredictable context, and 50% of, of those involved are women. So if we can get production and consumption of aquatic foods right, then we have the potential to synergistically improve the supply of nutritious foods, lower environmental footprints, generate livelihoods for the most vulnerable, and support female income, which we know is very important to women's agency. Second, aquatic food consumption can be increased within planetary boundaries. This is a big deal. The Eat Lancet report shows us that most regions of the world can increase their consumption of fish to promote health, and they can do it within planetary boundaries. And this is especially true of Latin America and the Caribbean, all of Africa, and South Asia. So not only is there the potential for synergies, there is an actuality uh, we, we start from a position of potential to scale the, the synergies. The synergies can actually be realized. We have space to realize them. Third, how can we raise consumption? Well, we know it's a combination of factors. We know that many people's income is just too low to afford aquatic foods. And Action Track 1, 4, and 5 are working on uh, I have propositions to change that. We know also that the price of aquatic foods is sometimes too high. Uh, Action Track 1, 2, and 3 are working on that, both from the production side and all the way through to the retail side. We know that the demand uh, is, is low for aquatic foods. It may not be affordability that's the issue. It may just simply be um, worries about, uh, about safety, about taste, about uh, a whole range of things. And Action Track 2 is working on the demand side and Action Track 1 is working on the food safety side. And then, of course, there are worries about sustainability. We can't take it for granted that aquatic food systems will always be sustainable. Uh, and so Action Track 3 is leading the way on that. So if done with health, livelihoods, climate, environment, and resilience in mind, increasing the production and consumption of aquatic foods is a true no regrets policy and should be, in my view, one of the key recommendations of the summit. Thank you so much. <laughs>